Fuck, 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 fuck! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened, I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago. That's about the only useful thing in here. It's empty. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan, or what? Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. 
Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? It's time we move forward. Omid and Krista are gonna help and we're gonna get past this damn tanker. We're happy to stick around. We'll see about that. You wanna start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds. Tens. Sometimes. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. That's rough. Her cat is gonna be pissed. Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. Talk to you later. like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Somebody was doing some painting. Hmm. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily it's locked. We'll get better at working together. I can't see in there. <clears throat> mm, won't burn. Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. We'll have to find a way in.
windows open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. That thing was in my hands instead of over there. It's too dark otherwise. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Locked up good. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. They didn't have much business back then. Locked up good. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Keys, now! Fuck, it's still locked! go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea.
I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No, Clem. We learned that everything we will ever do is dangerous. We'll get better, smarter, and faster, okay? Okay. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. There's a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Hope this holds. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. Damn it, it was just about done, too. Crap. We can't reach it now. portion of the couplings out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. No! 
Fuck! You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know? Next stop, the Atlantic. We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them then. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. You'll be all right. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. That fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents. Y'all might want to rethink your plan. <laughs> 